Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Oh, Holly Phoenix here, and today I'm back with episode number 33 of my Bloodborne walkthrough. Now, as you can see, we have got the Tenitris. We're going to be doing the Nightmare of Menzies today. But first, there was a new patch that made our Blood Vials and Quicksilver Bullets both 600 maximum, which is nice. I've also got both uh, plus 3 and plus 4 Blood Vial Communion runes on. And I've still got my Leak rune on. And I've also got a Radiance rune on, which is Vial HP Recovery up. So, I assume that's more health per Blood Vial Restoration, so that's cool. But, we need to head to the Advent Plaza to head to the Nightmare Menzies, so I'll see you over there. Okay, so we're just going to run up these steps. A lot of people with cages on their head in here. whole hell of a lot. One main dude here. We're going to inspect him. And we're in the lecture building. This is the second floor of the lecture building. Still just as dickish as the first floor. Still got the same... Pieces of shit trying to kill us. No other ways out of here. Nope. Alright, just making sure, just making sure. Okay, so it'll take us three hits to kill these guys. That's not too bad at all. But first, check out these double doors. Oh, look at that. There's a surprise. There's a dude hovering above us. Six sedatives. That's nice. So. Oh. That was easy. Well, so we're going to have to go around. Make sure we're checking everywhere we can. Right, let's see. As you can see, this is... That's the floor we tackled earlier in the game. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. Good old Master Willem, eh? Good old Master Willem. Isn't there... Is there another letter in here? I'm pretty sure there was. There it is. Hunt the Great Ones. Hunt the Great Ones. Okay, so we got to hunt the Great Ones. And there's a giant church giant over there. Giant church giant. Wow. I am so smart. These guys are super duper easy. It's tenitrous, just not a problem. Just avoid them spitting at you and you're all good. Nothing in here. No. As long as we can avoid them spitting at me. Can't get to them anyway. We'd have to go through the church giant, which I don't really think is good. At least if we could avoid it anyway. 
I'd rather not have to go over there. I don't think there's anything super good over there. Actually, oh shit. Might be able to uh, get over there without getting bugged by that church giant, I'm pretty sure. Stone chunk, I guess, was worth it. Just don't want to attract attention at the attention of the big guy. And we'll be fine. I don't think walking over here attracts his attention. So there's, I think, the first room you go in when you uh, go to the lecture building originally if you get picked up by Amidala. Communion rune. What one is this? Probably plus five, right? No, the plus two. Wait, really? One, two, three, four, okay. Unfortunately, you can't bash those uh, shelves down or anything, those cages. There's a dog barking outside, which is just fantastic. I love that. I didn't disturb him, did I, when I did that? No. I'm still cool. Cool as a cucumber. Hang on a second. Okay. The Nameless Moon Presence, beckoned by Lawrence and his associate, Pale Bloods. Pale Blood. Duh. Three-third chords. So, apparently the best way to become a great one is to have all three umbilical cords, all three-thirds of the umbilical cords. Which is kind of a nifty observation. Now we're looking for a friend of ours. I can't remember how to get to him. How do I get to our friend again? God damn it. Okay. Don't want the lamp. Being in here. have to go past the church giant to get to where I gotta go. Oh god damn it, I've fucking got him attracted to me now. Aha! This is where we wanna be. We can't get down here and get us anyway. But guess who's looking out the window?
this come to pass? Big for life. Of course I do, you're a dick. Oh, it me to hear it. You've made yourself a misreckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now you're witness to a miracle, and all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now, say in my heart, you were as a lamb to my God. Well, you weren't to know, and it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well, I say. <laughs> no matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Well, doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship? thought occurring on the good grace of a certain god and the way he meted out his love <laughs> god damn you're creepy dude maybe i think you're really creepy because i'm a huge fan of still not huge uh i'm not a fan of spiders at all so as you can see there's the lamp from the original time we came to the lecture building. So now we've got to try and get up and not get our ass our shit packed in by this damn giant who's just waiting for us. Food! Holy shit. Get in there. Bye! So now we're in the nightmare of Menzis. There is a lot of skulls around here. Not too fun at all. But this is a pretty cool area. Look at that. Looks just awesome. Got more silver beasts up here. Hate these guys. What sucks is I should have gotten my rifle spear. When we get up to the lamp, I might swap out my saw spear for my rifle spear. I'll have rifle spear tonitrus or something. I don't know. Oh shit! What? These little worm bastards. Ah, they hit pretty damn hard too. Oh. They're super susceptible to bolt damage. Well, not, well, not super susceptible, but. God damn, they're so annoying. I hate them. Hey, 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 you. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Give me your blood chunk. Three. Ho oh, ho, holy shit. Now you see that? If you are in the line of sight of that. It'll actually give you frenzy, so the best thing to do is hide behind everything. So it can't actually get you. 
is really the best way to go about it. Might just continue for now. Get up. See, it's giving me frenzy damage. And of course, our frenzy will go up over time because of that. Um, like standing out in the open fighting this guy is probably the holy shit. There's a bad oh fuck, I'm in trouble now. Just get the hell out of the way. Oh, uh, we need sedatives. Super bad. This is so bad for us. I'm stuck now. Yep. That was dumb. Hey. Um. Let's see. Can I? Repair would probably be good. Um. Can I upgrade any weapons at all? Okay, so, didn't mean to do that, but we'll put this on, uh, I thought I'd come back here, and just see if we can, okay, I guess my dolly is not here, he's up here again, uh, channel blood echoes, uh, costing 25,000. What do I want to upgrade? Endurance is always good, mainly for everything. We'll probably do endurance again. I do like me some endurance. And also... While we're here, we should take off that. Put that on. I was really hoping I could upgrade it. It's part of the reason why I came back, but I guess I don't have enough. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys back over there. Alright, so I'm thinking this son of a bitch might be the best thing for this. I wonder... I should put on... take the beast blood pellets off. Oh, God damn it. No, put that on. Track. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm taking frenzy damage. Pretty hard. But so is this lad. Shit. Did not want to do that. I didn't want to do it. about that shit. Those stupid worms fly out of him. And of course they're coming for me. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, god damn it. Sarah yeah, probably gonna struggle with pretty hard. I know it's the final area of the game, but god damn. Alright. God damn that. That stupid frenzy damage though.
this guy's taking it now. So if we just wait long enough, we can pretty much get him dead, although... Come here. Damn it. Come here. Keep taking that. There we go. Keep taking that frenzy damage. Stay away from me. Ah, fuck it. I'm back. Fucking frenzy. God, that frenzy damage sucks so hard. If we just play it, we'll get it. You play it smart. This area is definitely all about playing it smart, not suit just rushing through everything because you will get yourself killed. Wait for the frenzy to wear off. It's not the most fascinating gameplay in the world, but it's effective. Alright, now you fuck off. Are you gonna fuck off? No? Alrighty then. Guys, you're gonna try and come for me now? No, 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 no. Those guys follow me. I can't. God damn it! Stupid character. I can't see. Just gotta play this area cool as a cucumber. Be smart about it and we will survive. Right. Fuck, that was not the smart play. Shit. This is. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We could just take those off. Use one of these. And blue elixir our way past these guys. Because the last thing I want to do is get rocks thrown at my goddamn head as I run past these guys. Done them pretty easily. Twin bloodstone shards really aren't worth it at all. Of course, this guy's gonna be like, "Hey, man!" I don't think once I'm here, I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't think he can reach me from here. That thing never turned off. I think it's supposed to. Yeah, no, he can't reach me from here. Alright, let's open this door. Got all the egg sacks on the walls. As you see, friends. There we go. 
Come on, drop down. Yep, come to me. Come to me, little buddy. How you doing? Three hits and you're done. I'm going to try and still the attacks of her children before her wherever possible if it's a her I'm not sure it could be a him before the big bitch the big dude big spider in general try and get as many of the little guys to drop try and take out as many of the little guys as possible And, um, to drop down for me. Fuck! Exactly what I didn't want to do. It's not that she can hit me from here, it's just more annoying and more troublesome. If I've got her after me because it, it gets there, all these little dudes angry too. Now I've got, you know, all these little guys to, to fight as well. If she hits. Fucking hard, and so do they. God damn. Come on, attack. Yep. So you can hit, hit her about shit. About three times. So, we just want to bait out her attacks. Okay, that was only twice that time. Come close, swipe at me. Do your shit, yep. There you go. How you doing? Crap. So angry, madame. What are you so angry for? Because you're dead, that's why. Fucking hate spiders, man. Fucking hate spiders. In real life and in this game. Come on, shithead. Let's do this. You're gonna make it difficult, aren't you? I have to wait for your dumbass to come all the way down here. Yep. I can't just make it easy. Oh, what? Here we go. Come down here. Yep, run all the way through here. Of course, of course. Eat him. Quicksilver bullets. Seems a little bit weird to get quicksilver bullets from a spider, doesn't it? Come here. Shit, fuck that up. That's cool anyway. Look at this view. What's that over there? More cages. Interesting. Got item over here. Madman's knowledge. Of course, it would be madman. No mad means. Mad means. Madman's knowledge in a nightmare. That's no, just. Down. Shaman Bone Blade. Six of them. Now, from my understanding, the Shaman Bone Blades are decently. A, a blade of bone coated with gruesome spinal fluid used by old labyrinth 
watches, in particular to those presiding over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid temporarily numbs the centers, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. The blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective. And breaks. So you only get six uses out of it. But, anyway guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. We are already way over time for me. But I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, and have a lovely day, alright? Peace!